zehn Schlüsse genommen. Girls, girls, please side. Hey you. Sir. Sir, Nikki. Don't cut the part. Don't, don't out. थोड़ा सा ऊपर से भी कर दो थोड़ा सा जाके Welcome our new bishop. Just put your hands together, that's all, right? Without opening them up. We give a rousing reception. Keep 
dropping. All of these things. Up close to the brilliant. No shouting. Just touch only through hands. You are just touch on the express only through hands. to kindly welcome our new bishop amongst us with a bouquet of flowers. And the installation took place last month on the 24th of August. And I must tell you, today is a matter of great pride and honor to all of us because our own principal, you know, who was here from 2014 to 2020, ultimately went on to become the new bishop of Alaba. So it's a great honor for all of us. So let's put our hands together for the new bishop. As such, our uh, new bishop does not need any introduction at all. Because all of us know him. He was here, say from 2014 to 2020. And I can proudly tell you, this is not my personal opinion, of course it is, but this is the opinion of the general public and also our teachers. He was rated as one of the most successful principals ever who ran the institution as long as he was here. This is a great honor. We need to put our hands once again. And you know, a bishop has a deep rooted and a special bond with the St. Peter's. Now he came here 
In 1984, as a region, like we see, our seminarians are here, our brothers are here. This year we don't have, otherwise for the last three years we had brothers here. So like that, in 1984, Brother Lewis was here, assisting the then principal, late Reverend Father Henry Subaris. And those, those were the early days when the school was, you know, in the process of getting established. I think it was the first year. And I remember he had been uh, telling us sometimes that they used to go from uh, school to get the students, especially from IDI. From IDI. Uh, just because those days, you know, it was uh, not known. People did not know much about the school. And it was the early days, you know. And therefore, they themselves used to go. Father used to go, Father Suarez and a uh, brother, you know, Lewis, is to go and uh, bring the children. And then, you know, today, what is the story? So, and uh, as a principal, he took over in 1984. And then I don't have to tell you, you people know, you know, the whole scenario changed. The new wings came up that side, this side, and that side together, much developmental work took place. And I would like to make a special mention about the assembly. The entire assembly was, uh, what should I say, was restructured, revamped, or reshaped. Till then, you know, hardly anybody came onto the stage. There was no proper assembly until then. The assembly, of course, was there, but not in a very planned manner, in a systematic way, as uh, we have now. And this, you know, this, uh, what you call, uh, habit started in 2014 after he took over. You know, students got the chance to come on the stage, teachers got the chance to come on the stage and today you know greater participation by the students and the teachers. And this legacy is being continued and it will continue. Now this is as far as rivalry is concerned. Now as far as the diocese is concerned, I must tell you our bishop has worked in various capacities in different parts of the diocese. He has been the mission in charge in various places, in smaller places. And he was the director of the social welfare center. It was a very tough ask, never easy. You know, he has some great achievements there. I know that uh, he freed some of the bonded labors, for example, some children who were taken as bonded labors. He freed them from the clutches, from the hold of those rich, you know, people. He was the principal of St. Joseph's College for many years. He was later the Vicar General. Seeing his great ability, he was appointed as the Vicar General of the Diocese of Allahabad. Then later, he became the Administrator of the Diocese in the absence of the Bishop. And then finally, our wish came true, he became the ultimate Bishop. And today, he is the Shepherd of the entire Diocese. You know, our Diocese stretches to different, you know, districts like Sonwad, like Kanpur, Sultanpur, Tatargarh, Raiwali, with many, many institutions, hospitals, schools, welfare centers, and orphanages, and many more. So if you have to man all the resources and the task is very tough. 
with a greater responsibility, never easy to uh, carry on with uh, such a great burden. However, with his great ability, he will, he will get through very easily, we all know, because he is capable. You now, wherever he has worked, and I must tell you, he has worked with 100% dedication, with great elan, with great passion, with great enthusiasm, with great commitment, with great dedication. And therefore, Lord has blessed him. And Lord has elevated him to the highest dignified place, that is the Bishop of Alaba. And we are extremely proud and honored because our very own has become one. And this is his maiden visit after he became the Bishop. Yesterday we had, uh, you know, the celebration in the church, administered, uh, administering some, uh, what you call, sacraments. And uh, we spent the whole day there. So this is, I must tell you, this is a great moment of joy and happiness. And uh, now what we can do? We can only pray to Lord so that God might bless him with the manifold, you know, blessings and graces. Today we pray to God so that God, your Lordship will be blessed by God with the strength, with the vigor, with the enthusiasm, with the good health, with the peace of mind, commitment and dedication so that our Diocese of Alava will grow from strength to strength and reach the pinnacle of glory one day under your able administration. Once again, we put our hands together for the bishop and with this, I wind up my uh, a few words. Thank you. Over to Vemash. It's true that the prayer that comes from the heart increases your faith and brings you close to God. Here are the students of class 6 to present the prayer dance.
and we see the stage that I am standing on here is the great contribution of our dear Bishop. Otherwise, this stage and the staff room was wasn't here when he arrived here in 2014. And the beautiful school building is a great uh, building for the primary section. It is built in a new structure, very spacious, very airy, and a fantastic one. Some of the students of class maybe six, seven, eight have gone through that building which is on the on my left side. Not only that, there are many the labs and many uh, structures have come into this campus. It's a structural building, of course a great contribution. Other than that, the strength of our college was barely somewhere within 1500 when our dear bishop arrived here in 2014. Now it has grown almost 1,000 students have increased to this school and college. It's all the grassroots work that was begun and also completed and accomplished by our dear bishop as a principal of this St. Peter School and College. It's not only here, our bishop as a priest has taken a lot of many responsibilities in the diocese. And it was said, wherever he took up the responsibilities, he has, he has plunged into such responsibilities of different uh, 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 responsibilities like a very specially, I must say, as the educator and also of late, he was the director of the hospital, which is a very vast area. And you require ocean of knowledge to take up that position of the director of the hospital because special various, various different specialties the hospitals have and to know every speciality is not an easy task and our dear bishop as the director of the hospital has done a wonderful work in Allahabad and now he has been elevated a great honor to the diocese of Allahabad and the honor has come all the way from Rome, from Pope. He has been appointed as the Bishop of the Diocese of Allahabad. As I said, today is a sacred day. Today is an auspicious day for all of us because when our dear Bishop left this place as the principal of this college, that time, it was Corona period and his honor, his lordship had to leave this place without much knowledge of the students and the teachers. And also when I came here, I came as a principal without students and we call in the church as the church in charge or parish priest without any Catholic faith, faith fold. So therefore those were the days that Bishop as the uh, principal of this college had to leave the place and today for the first time I have got the honor to sit with him here as a present principal with a former principal and now as the bishop of the diocese of Allahabad. I on behalf of students and the teachers very specially congratulate our dear lordship it is not even a month that he has been elevated as a bishop of the diocese of Allahabad. Before a month, it's our honor that he has come over here. And we have got this welcome ceremony, a, very, a small felicitation program. There are many more programs coming up in our school, in our college, where our bishop will be present in the future too. Today, on behalf of the students present here and the teachers. I once again congratulate our dear Bishop for this great honor that he has received from Rome as a Bishop of the Diocese of Allahabad. His responsibilities have increased. It was only the institution he was looking after. Now he has to look after almost 13 districts of the Diocese of Allahabad, where are, where, 
way there are schools and colleges of this nature and much more bigger than this different institutions in the diocese and i know with his able guidance leadership and administration he will do wonders in the future to come in the diocese of alabad we look forward for those great days and very specially we have to pray for our dear bishop that he gives a good help of heart and mind also and also his future may be brighter brighter and the brightest with our prayers very specially we have to keep in him in our prayers for all the great contributions that he has rendered to this institution as well as he will be entering in the future too so once again on behalf of each and every one of you i congratulate and welcome our dear lordship most reverend dr louis mascarenes and i also would like to thank now itself all those who have contributed in organizing this uh, program of a felicitation and the students already have come on to the stage and done the prayer dance and one or two programs will be there i wish them all the best and would like to thank each one of you for organizing this uh, small felicitation and a welcome ceremony for for our dear bishop once again congratulations dear bishop and we assure you all our prayers for your future ministry thank you and god bless Thank you, Father, for your wonderful words. I am telling us once again the different roles played by our new bishop. Thank you very much. A good speech is a part. It's the best way to express your feelings. May I call upon Shri Devi of Class 11th to deliver a speech. Eurasians created a legacy that inspired us to dream more, learn more, work hard, and move towards perfection. You are the one who molds the heart and minds of students, leaving an indelible mark on their lives. You are an exceptional person, just like a rock standing firm in the face of challenges. and guiding the institution towards success indeed my words are about the newly consecrated bishop of alabar diocese most reverend dr louis mascarenes a very pleasant good morning to most reverend dr louis mascarenes respected principal father rezinal de souza respected former headmistress sister antonette headmistress Sushila Rani teachers and all my dear friends integrity inside inclusiveness are the most respected essentials to translate vision into reality you lordship you had all of these qualifications here at st peter's you were a great teacher a mentor and a friend you were a perfect guy who ignited the flame of hope in us and instilled in us a true love for learning your lordship your provisions for the promotion of education unlock a world full of possibilities for the students here at st peter's you provided us an congenial atmosphere of quality learning with love and compassion you have always encouraged us by saying there are no failures there are only gainers believe in yourself and move confidently in the direction of your dreams you have always taught us that the greatest glory in life is not in never falling but 
rising every time we fall. We keep remembering these special words of yours in our daily lives. You have inculcated leadership qualities among us by forming proper school cabinet and various associations. You have always focused on all-around development, leading us to learn true sportsmanship, character building, and self-realization. I still remember your thoughts about cleanliness, as cleanliness is a state of purity, clarity, and precision. During the COVID pandemic, you provided us an effective and efficient pedagogy. You have always encouraged us through your prayers and nurturing messages and instilled in us a flame of hope. May God bless us with grace and power so that the legacy of character building can be inherited successively and progressively in our institution. Thank you. Dancing is like dreaming with feet. I request Greenhouse students of junior section to present the patriotic dance.
Louis Raspain to kindly address us with his words of inspiration and also to bless us. Sister Sushila Remy, the headmistress, Sister Antoinette, the former headmistress, Mr. Rego, I should call him my mentor because we were together in uh, St. Paul's Seminary and as well as in St. Joseph's Seminary we were together studying for the same diocese. At the same time, he has been a guide for me and many of us. This is why I especially mentioning you, your name today. Esteemed teachers and my dear students. First of all, I would like to thank you for this beautiful welcome and felicitation. Beautiful prayer dance, the wonderful speech. Once again, it was very nostalgic that you remember even today what I used to often repeat there are no failures but only gainers. I used to often repeat and that you all remember till this day. Today, it's very nostalgic feelings for me as well because in 2014, when I came here, I found there is a lot of potential in the students in Raibari. I always used to share with, the, with my other school principals not in library outside. First thing I sh saw in you all was the discipline and also the cleanliness. The way you dress up, the never the tie is low here as we see in other school. Always gentleman's style. And your speech, the words that you use while addressing the teachers, all this impressed me and I all the credit I give to the past principals, the sisters and also the teachers. My dear students, school is a place where obviously we need infrastructure above all as we always give much importance to the faculty. If the faculty of teaching is not strong enough, then the school will not be very strong. That institution will be always be a weak institution. Ravindranath Tagore puts it very clearly. An institution is not made of brick and cement and stones but it is made of good faculty and good teachers, dedicated teachers. And this is what I found here in uh, Raibarili in St. Peter's School. Therefore, I could begin something, some new ventures in this school. Otherwise, if the faculty, if the students are not open to new things, then it becomes very difficult. But this is what I saw as compared to other places where I have served, I found the teachers were very dedicated, very open, innovative things and also very cooperating. So this is what I found and they are very homely. I could visit the houses of the teachers. 
I have gone to their houses, homes. I found out their well beings, sat with them, ate with them. That is the way we spend time those six years as something, as one family. I have also gone to the students' homes, especially on the days of uh, when you are celebrating your birthdays. Sometimes I was invited, sometimes I was not invited, yet I made my way to your houses, which this I learned, as uh, Mr. Rego has already said, I learned when this school was just begun in 1984-83, it was started. 84, I was here for a year. He rightly said, I used to go uh, to the various colonies and get the children. I used to reach them back to their homes. So this was a small beginning. Today what we see, it, is a, it has grown into a very big and vast tree under which so many students are taking shelter and making their future. School is a place of growth. It is a place of growth not only for students but also for teachers. Teachers also will grow in their teaching. There is no ultimate, there is no end of learning. Everyone has to learn. I was a priest, I was a principal, I was a teacher and now I am a bishop. Yet my learning has not come to an end. I have to learn many more till the end of life, my life. That is the growth that has to go through in a school. Everything that is prepared, a plan which is made, the timetable, the playground, the labs, the buildings, all the programs that are taking place throughout the year are for the growth of the students as well as the teachers. So it is a process of growth that we go through and this is what I saw in St. Peter's School and College. Always we can see not only the bodily growth but also the intellectual character and various other spheres of growth that I have seen in you all as well as the teachers. Today I am very happy, I feel some nostalgic feelings I have. It is because that you are very dear to me. You are very dear to me. Yesterday also I shared in the church. I was sharing with my uh, brother priest. I was supposed to come to when Father Reginald invited me. I had no second thought. Immediately said, yes I will come. And in fact I was waiting when he would call me. And he called me and I immediately said yes and I was waiting for the day. I wish to share this on the dining table that I am very happy that I am going to rivalry. This is a second home for me where I have uh, experienced the hospitality of the teachers, hospitality of the students and their parents beautifully. This is a peaceful place, always I say rivalry is in between one side the metropolitan city Lucknow, the other side Kanpur, then the other side we have Allahabad. This is in between. So that makes a difference. In rivalry so far there are no diversions for your minds. I used to also share with my students. In other schools wherever we are, we have been, there may be big number of students, but the highest quality was very low. Whereas in this school, from first student till the end in the role are all very good students and they are all serious and they would like to do something in life, not simply coming and wasting their time in the school. This is the speciality of rivalry St. Peter's School. There are many many more things which uh, I could enumerate with you but today as father has already said that if I will be there for other programs also I will share with you my experiences and for today I 
Thank you for inviting me for this felicitation program. Thank you for organizing beautiful uh, stage program. Thank you for your love, for your concern, the way you uh, converse with me. Other day I happened to reach here, the whole crowd came upon me. So which means you keep that relationship. And this relationship also must extend in your families, in your neighborhood. After all, an educated person, educated according to Gandhiji, is a good human being. You may learn many theories. You may be the highest person in the position. But you, if you are not a good human being, where you are concerned about others, then all education becomes zero. Education without being human, you have to be human. Humanity, life comes only once in life. Therefore, the life has to be lived to the fullest. And I wish you all the best, especially in class 10 and 12. I wish you all the best. May God bless you. Always keep you under the loving wings of his protection so that you and your family be always happy in life. Thank you once again, one and all. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Your Worship, Lordship, for your words of blessings and words of inspiration. I'm sure these words of yours will leave a last deep impression and on our hearts as well as a deep imprint on the sands of time. Thank you, Your Lordship. May I now request our Honorable Principal, Reverend Father Reginald, and our Head Mrs. Reverend Sister Sushila Remy to kindly felicitate His Lordship, Most Reverend Lewis Master Innes, with a shawl and a memento as a token and gesture of our love and gratitude. Reverend Sister 
Mr. Antonet, respected headmistress, Sister Sushila Remy, teachers and all my fellow mates. Today, I Tore Bajpay, the vice head girl of St. Peter's School and College. First of all, thank most reverend Dr. Louis Mascarenhas, who is amidst us in spite of his busy schedule. It is his deep love for this institution that has brought him here. We are simply blessed by your presence. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your esteemed presence. Thank you for your inspirational words and blessings, which will go a long way in our lives. I would like to thank our Honorable Principal, Reverend Father Regina D'Souza, for arranging this auspicious program. I would like to thank our former headmistress, Reverend Sister Antoinette, Reverend Headmistress, Sister Shushila Remy, and Sister Roshni for their support and guidance, and all the teaching and non-teaching staff, and especially Sir Francis Rego, Ma'am Tanuja, Sir Vinay, Ma'am Somya, and Sir Vivek for their supervision and coordination of the program. Finally, I would like to thank all the students who have participated directly or indirectly to make this program a successful one. On behalf of the Students' Cabinet, I would like to thank all of you. Thank you one and all. Now, I request everyone to kindly rise for the National Anthem. Yeah. Please sit up for a while. Uh, let me tell you a small little secret just because uh, our bishop said I was his mentor so therefore I feel like telling you know in 1978 if I can remember or maybe 79 78 in 1978 you know, all of a sudden, in a minor ceremony, I was senior to him by one year, probably two years, yeah. I was senior to him by two years. And uh, one day, the rector, rector means the in charge of the seminary, where the students are trained for priesthood, you know, called me all of a sudden and told me that you wear my cassock. Cassock means that what you call the one that uh, Father Reginald is wearing just now, uh, Bishop himself is wearing just now. No, he told me to wear his cassock. Can you imagine? Very tall and a very stout and very strong person. And I was thinner than what I am today. I was much more thinner than what I am today. And you know, uh, what is the joke about it? The joke is this, I had to wear it. And that itself is a record. What kind of record I tell you that no seminary there ever. You know, we are groomed for three years, that is the formative years of ours, three years where we don't wear cassock. We wear this cassock or we call it this, you know, uh, the habit in simple words, you know, in the major seminary, that's in Alaba. So he told me, you wear mine. You know, it was quite shocking. He was very tall. And very, I like a sturdy personality, a Goliath of a person. So I wore it and walked all the way to the railway station. Can you imagine? From St. Paul's to Dilkusha to the railway station, walking. He told me you walk. And when you come back, you come back by, you know, a rickshaw. So I walked. And many people thought me to be a kind of an apparition, a spectre. I suppose you understood apparition. You know, they were all looking at me with a puzzled eyes. You know, they were all confused. What is this? Who is this fellow? Very thin. And the cassock was so very loose. Uh, because there was a purpose. Because those days, it was not the days of mobile or telephone. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know, our brother, our brother, Lewis was coming by train, you know. He was coming by train in an unreserved compartment. And how would he recognize me? You know, he did not know Hindi, isn't it? He did know Hindi. So how will he reach uh, uh, the seminary? He would not know anything. So therefore, the rector had sent me. So I stood there at the station on the platform and uh, our bishop, the brother came, you know, straight to me because he understood that. So 
I am very much humbled, Your Lordship. You acknowledge me here as a mentor. I don't think so, but I must tell you, I am really humbled. And uh, then in 2014, I also had the opportunity to welcome him uh, here in the assembly. And today, also, it's my rare privilege. So we are deeply, you know, bonded and associated. And back home in Mangalore, we are immediate neighbors. Our homes are not very far away. In fact, uh, maybe a distance of 10 kilometers where we reside. Okay, thank you very much. Now kindly rise for our national anthem.